Hey guys, Mishki here. So today we're going to be talking about oh, playing as a lower level character, uh, specifically a musketeer. Uh, so you see here I'm a level 4 musketeer, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to play kind of solo for the beginning. Uh, as you're kind of going around doing your thing, you don't really have a guild or friends to go around with. So uh, you might see that my, my gear is higher level. You're going to see that it's level 30 plus 5, but it's all in red, except for that one. Um, what that means is that I'm not getting the benefit of it being level 30. It's only matching my level. So I don't want you to get the idea that I'm, like, cheating here. Uh, so the ores that I'm running with are Renew, Impact, Weakness, and Poison. I don't have any talents because I'm a level 4. So, um, Musketeer. How do we do this? Uh, Musketeer is mostly a healing class. You're going to notice that you're not dealing much damage. So how do you go around and fight things? Um, I could fight these guys, but they're so low level that it really doesn't... Uh, doesn't show anything. So if I go to the back of the book here, you're going to see that we have strength indicators for different levels. Uh, I apologize for the shakiness of the book. My hands shake quite a bit. So anybody who says that they can't play mage because their hands shake, I disagree. Um, I'm going to be going for enemies that are same level or perhaps a level higher than me. So we're going to go down over here. Do, 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 do. Here we go. We have... Oh, yeah, these guys are the same level as me. So how do we how do we fight enemies at the same level of us or possibly higher? First thing, the turret that you have. Uh, if you click it, it can switch between damage and healing. Healing is the kind of glowy aura, and damage is the spiky one. Um, you can also hear the difference if I turn... There we go. Yeah, that's it back's on. So, that's damage, that's healing. So I'm going to keep it on healing, and I'm going to put it up in the air. I'm going to shoot a weakness, a poison, and an impact at him. I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit here. Um, and basically, I'm just going to keep shooting him. And I'm going to heal myself with Renew on my feet. So between the turret healing me and my Renew healing me, you're going to see I basically don't take damage. Despite the fact that he's, what, same level enemy as me, my health doesn't drop. So as long as I keep shooting Renew on my feet and I have the turret up, I'll be fine. Okay, I got two enemies now. Now I shoot Weakness, you're going to see they both get the Weakness. I shoot Poison, they both get Poison. The reason for that is that a lot of the orbs have a small AoE on them. Uh, specifically, um, the kind of effect ones, so... Weakness will do that. Poison will do that, right? Renew will also do that, which is why if I shoot the ground right over there, they both get hit by it. Uh, the Weakness Orb makes the enemies take 20% extra damage from your attacks. So, Weakness, Poison, Impact, and you see a big chunk of his health is now gone, right? And I can shoot Weakness. My turret did disappear. It does have a small lifespan. Um, it won't stay up permanently, so you just toss it back up whenever it's out, and again, Renew on my feet. I always shoot weakness first, and then a poison, and then impact. And uh, using this method, you'll be able to take on quite a few enemies. Here, we'll take this guy too. Why not? And let's get somebody with a different attack. Let's get a smashy boy. All right, the smashy boy, uh, different enemies have different rotations. So this guy kind of teleports, as you might have seen earlier. Uh, this guy's pretty basic. With the brutes, you're going to have really three things you need to watch out for. Um, the smash, boop, that's one of them. The interrupt. And then the normal attack. Oh. So you see I'm getting low on health. I also have a life well. I'm going to shoot that on the ground. Jump out of the smash. Back into the life well. So with the interrupt, you're going to need to interrupt that. How do you interrupt as a musketeer? You just do a charge shot. So if I hold my trigger, you're going to see that the, uh, the barrel starts to glow. That means I've got a charge shot. Boom. Interrupt. And again, you'll see here, right, I took on three enemies, a smasher, a teleporty boy, and uh, a normal... Oh, we got another smasher. That's fine. And basically what you're going to see here is that musketeers are incredibly um, survive heavy, right? Again, I might not be doing much damage. Oh, I took that smash. That was silly of me. I might not be doing much damage, but at the same time, they really can't spike me down very hard, right? So I'm going to keep getting those interrupts, keep dodging out of the way of those smashes, keep shooting renews, and eventually they will go down. Got a weakness, impact, Oop. put a poison on him. Um, another thing is you can focus on one at a time, so you're going to see the health bars are a lot different here. Um, I'm trying to focus on this guy right here. So interrupts for the other guy don't really matter so much right now for me. I'm just kind of, you know, spike one down. Because whether he's at one hit point or 100% hit points, he does the same amount of damage. So let's try to... Come on, move. There we go. I don't like it when they stand on top of each other like that. It makes it hard to get the interrupts. All right, cool, he's down. Now we can focus on this one. So again, interrupt, boop. Weakness, jump out. 
and I'm staying near my turret when possible, um, just that I get those heals renew on the ground. Oh, come on! <laughs> I really wanted to finish this off and go to the next set of enemies. That's fine, we'll make it work. Um, you guys get the hint. We'll just move on. Leave those guys over there. And we're going to take on a caster board now. Now, uh, let's say that you're doing this and you find yourself dying quite often, right? The healing just isn't working out for you. Keep in mind that you do have a cure wounds orb, you do have a shield orb. Feel free to put those on there and those will, you know, uh, the cure wounds will spike up your health a lot. The shield will prevent damage. Um, a gravity is an automatic interrupt and it does a little bit of a stun. But we're going to pull some uh, some casters now. I promise I can aim. So the casters, uh, two things you got to worry about. One is the bolts. Pew. And the other one is their interrupt. Uh, kind of the same thing as the, the smasher. They're going to do an interrupt and they're going to heal. So we'll watch his hit points. He's going to do one more bolt, I think. All right, so he's going to put the staff in front of him and you'll see his health bar start to go up here. And again, same thing. Just charge shot will interrupt. Now, when fighting the bolty boys, something fun you can do is you can put a turret... <laughs> right in front of them, and just hide behind the turret. Right, you're going to see my health hasn't dropped at all. Now, you do have to watch out because these bolts do, as you see, kind of curve a little bit. So um, sometimes they can get around the turret. And the turret does have a finite amount of hit points, so you can't just keep soaking like that. Pew, poison. Uh, yep, the turret will auto-heal people. Um... Watch out for the exploded boys. I'll get up close and you'll see... Oh, look at all that damage it dealt, right? Yeah, so uh, whenever an exploded boy dies, just make sure you back up or hit it with a pushback or some kind of movement modifying um, ability. But that's kind of my, my quick go-to on how to play Musketeer. Um, if for some reason somebody ever dies... Where's my life well orb? Here it is. So you see my life well, you see how there's kind of these spikes coming out of it? That means that I have a resurrect ready. And if somebody were to die, I could throw my turret up put my life well in it, shoot my life well on the turret, and that would resurrect them. Um, but my turret disappeared at just the right time, um, so that didn't work, and there was nobody dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. But that's kind of my quick go-to um, on how to play Musketeer. You should be able to survive quite a bit. Like I said, you just won't be killing things very fast. Um, if you do find that you're able to you know, survive quite easily, maybe take your turret, switch it to damage mode, right? Put a poison on it. You'll see he now has two poison stacks, right? And we can get some much faster killing, and I'm just going to rely on the Renew and trust that I can get these interrupts in time to kill it before he kills me. And look at that health go down a lot faster, huh? Oop, I totally just soaked that smash because I thought I teleported and I didn't. I'm holding that for a, an interrupt. Boom. So you see he goes down a little bit faster than he would normally because uh, he's got double poison stacks and he's taking damage from the turret. So, yep, that's just kind of a quick rundown. I hope that helps. Um, if you're a new player, let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. I've got plenty of videos up, and uh, they're pretty much all uh, aimed at helping you out. So, best of luck. Hope that helps. And as always, happy hunting.